What is going on, Survivor? Draco Invictus here with Wave 14 of Survive the Night in Night of the Dead. All right, so we are here, and um, I may have to do some more modification here to the maze up front, simply because as I move toward the back of the slaughterhouse, uh, they are kind of losing pathing. It's the way the stairs are laid out and stuff like that. So I may have to like cut this whole section out right here eventually. But right now, I'm not too worried about it. So uh, that is a kind of ideas for the future. Let me quickly walk you through uh, what I've done today, uh, other than cutting down even more trees over here uh, so that I could finish off phase two, at least as wooden foundations go. I haven't put any traps or anything over there other than a pendulum, and I was using that more for support than anything else. So anyway, they are going to come through here, not here. Now, if they are coming from this direction, they will hit these spikes, bump, bumpy, 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 move around here, and then track this way. And as you can see, they will go through the maze, through the maze, through the maze, come around here, double in here, around here, come around here. Oh no, they already did that. It came around here. There we go. And then they went like this and boom, they're in. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what it is. It went like that. And then they can choose which set of stairs. Now they will all path this direction simply because I have the door for this side closed. So uh, that is how we're, I'm just still trying to figure out a great way to utilize that whole Oh, the zombie closes the door thing. So uh, we have our uh, spike floors, our double grinders. Uh, then we come into our pendulum with our three spike floors here. Two more spike floors, pendulums, compressors, all that in there. Couple cutters. Um, because I dropped this pendulum down, this one here, it will not let me put spiked floors here. So it is what it is. So then we got cutter, uh, spike floor, Cutter, spike floor, compressors above. And then we break out over on this side, double meat grinders again, compressor spiked floor. They get a small respite before then they walk through the absolute meat grinder, three of them in a row. And then they come up top, trap floor. I put the spikes here so that they won't try and uh, dart too quickly. I may have to move them over to this corner like I have on that side. Uh, so that they won't that the fast ones will get caught up trying to cut for that down there So I doubt anything's even gonna get this far tonight. So I have time to fix that. So then they would come down here Come through this door and then they would come this way And if I were downstairs, they would take the stairs down to get to me if I was on this level Well, obviously they'd come to me here and if I was up top they could easily get to me up here the only problem is, is when I come to, when I come to the back to get to one of these alleyways to repair things, when I come all the way back here, they don't want to path. Um, I do have a trebuchet here behind a door. Uh, it is so I can control when it fires. And I will probably do the same thing for a flamer at some point. A door is a fantastic way to turn flamers and, uh, not trebuchet, uh, spike launchers. Uh, to turn them on and off. And with the door open, like easy access on this side, it'll be easy enough for me to open and close the door without being in the envelope, as it were, with the zombies. So, um, and then of course we do have the trebuchet that rains down death on these guys as they're trying to make their way through the maze. And that wraps it up. Again, phase two is kind of not an exact mirror. It won't be the exact... Uh, trap layout on that side but it is a mirror as far as we have the, the sunk down alleyway they will go down they will come back up they will go around this way up the stairs over the top of the alleyway up the stairs trap door and yada 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 so uh there is uh plans in motion uh, to make this thing carry through a great distance I need to go get my ammo for the uh, trebuchet so that it can fire off tonight. So I will catch you guys when the wave starts. Might as well get to that intro now, huh? Let's do that.
all right guys so the wave has started wave 14 here we go hey if you are new to the channel you should think about subscribing and clicking that bell notification icon i do lots of night of the dead videos i'm going to be covering more of this game as it pushes towards its release and beyond that so make sure to stay tuned in and the best way to do that is subscribe click the bell notification icon select all for the notifications and then you'll get notified the next time i post a video i've got lots of great content on my channel already i'm talking about how big you can build your base i'm doing more testing videos i'm doing a playthrough series uh, I have the Survive the Night series here, and I'm also even doing live streams. So uh, come check all that out. Again, subscribe, bell notification, and you'll get notified. Oh, we're spawning down there tonight. Excellent. And hey, if you could leave a big like, give me a big thumbs up on this video. It lets me know that I am doing the right thing. It helps with the whole algorithm thing. See, if I stand in this corner, they path in perfectly. It's when I move toward the back of the building, especially downstairs, because that means that they have to come up here and then go down two flights of stairs and then go back. It's kind of confusing for them. I forgot to put the spikes across there to stop that from happening. That's all right. So I may get visited by a jumper here. Hey, go around. Ooh, scary. Oh, there's our, there's our jumper. We're just going to let him just go that way. I guess if we stand here, I guess it won't be bad. So uh, let's, um, I'm going to reload this thing while I'm standing here. And I do have some bombs uh, for when the, the bosses show up, but let's go ahead and uh, jump out here and see what's going on. And for those of you that are wondering, I am using the Unreal Unlocker because it gives me the debug camera, which is what I am using here. Unfortunately, uh, the developers have not unlocked uh, like a fly cam or debug cam uh, in the game. So I have to use some uh, third-party software uh, to make this available. But sometimes you can't see all the action, so it's uh, a whole lot easier to do it this way. Yes, I definitely think putting some spikes just right across there just kind of deter them from wanting to come in and smash on stuff. I mean, eventually they figure out their path and they figure out they can't go that way. Man, that trebuchet sure does make short work of these guys. Spawning out in the field? That's crazy. Glad I cleared all those trees away, huh? Yes, even though this isn't technically part of the maze anymore because I've opened up this section right here, they still have a hard time with all that and uh, uh, really softens them up again this whole maze i know at wave 20 wave 30 this isn't going to be nearly a deterrent that it is now but everything that i can do to soften them up out here before they get into the slaughterhouse just means that the slaughterhouse is going to work that much more efficiently so that's the goal with the maze that the maze isn't designed to to kill everything i know that it can't They've nerfed the, the spiked fences here. They'll probably nerf them again after watching these videos because this is very effective, especially with these trash mobs. 
I do get some bosses that get in. Typically, it's the, the green hulky bosses and uh, the butchers. Uh, those are the ones that I get in so far. Oh, hey there, big mama. Come on in. Don't mind the spikes or the trebuchet. I told you not to mind the trebuchet. Yeah, it happens. Oh, yeah. That is going to leave a mark. This guy is just randomly over there with that light. Again, I am right. This is right on the edge of the pathing leash or tether, whatever you want to call it. And sometimes these guys uh, get a little crazy like that guy. What the hell is he doing? Where are you going? He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's just kind of wandering around. That's cool. Come on, dude. Get over here. Get the point. Let's go. See, look, everyone else is dying over here. You want to do it too. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Maybe it's the camera. Sometimes they react. No, nope. he is doing the same crap. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. All right. Trebuchet is not working. Not that it's not working. It's just not loaded. So that's fine. We'll let some of the trash get a little bit further. We'll see how much stronger they've gotten. There goes another. Now, the one that was wandering around over here, he's the one that just died right there. They really don't like that spike right there. <laughs> Got another one wandering off into the, the hills. The hills are dead with the sound of zombies. Right? Is that what the song is? <laughs> is that how she sang it? Alright, these guys are getting kind of crazy, so I'm going to come back over here. See if we can't help with that whole pathing thing. Actually, let's see if we can come... Can we come down here? Does this help at all? Nope, doesn't help in the slightest. Wow. Hey now. I don't come to your house and destroy your lights. I see they're still pathing. It's just, it's really weird. How about down here? You guys want to do this? not gonna go quietly that's not good all right hmm all right I'll just come back up here and stand at this corner it's really weird
All right, we have hit the two o'clock hour. I imagine that our boss wave is gonna be coming soon. See if we can get a feel for where they might be coming from. We've got a bomb coming in. There they are. All right. Time to load this thing up. Let the games begin. I'll go ahead and bring this down. It's gonna get quite loud. Got more monsters. Oh, got a jumper. He decided to jump up there. Of course, he can't actually get to me. But he they do kind of cut the line a little bit there. Yeah, they typically die pretty quickly. Oh yeah, just absolute carnage. I've got a green boss trying to make his way in. How far is he gonna make it, folks? We got our first legitimate runner of the night. He did not make it far. No, did not make it far at all. Made it all the way to the pendulum though. All right, got the big butcher. Which way does he think he's going? I'm glad I put that pendulum there. I don't know why they would think they could go that way. Because that door is closed. So that's very, very interesting. That may be causing some of the pathing issues that I'm seeing tonight. Because that's the first night that I've actually had that side built. So that could be part of the problem. Because other than that pendulum, there are no other traps for them. I mean, they could get to the back door. It's currently closed. All right. Wow. So we actually didn't have many that, that made it into the, the base, made it through the gauntlet tonight, mainly because a lot of the exploders kind of stayed out in this area over here because they were dealing with some of the, the pathing confusion. So, very interesting. But hey, we had another successful night. We got more coming in. Oh, it's just that random dude over there that was smashing on the light. Yeah, I think I may have to kind of rework just this little end right over here. So that there are no path. We don't want any pathing issues because if we're getting pathing issues at wave 14 what's 20 or 25 going to look like sorry bob did not make it very far and we are done the trebuchet is done firing that means uh no one else is around so let's go ahead and uh take that one i know it still has one loaded but and then i'm just going to store all this stuff here There we go. And oh yeah, one more. All right. So uh, we were successful. Now let me come down here and double check. Okay. This door is open, which it should be. That door is closed, which it should be. That door is closed, which it should be. 
there should be no reason why those guys pathed over here. And obviously he wasn't the only one. Oh, was it that door? Well, how are they going to make that jump? I don't know, but yeah, this door should definitely have been closed. So maybe that's what was causing the problems. I don't I'm just not sure. But anyway, that is, um, yeah, I, I don't know. So we'll come up here and then, all right, or we want to do that. There we go. Well, you're kind of Johnny come lately to the party, aren't you? Well, the line starts over there. Raw. No, no, no. Yeah, see, there's there's something that, that kind of janky. But I mean, most of this stuff, I mean, 99s, I mean, Jesus, none of it fired. That was from the jumper. Yep, there we go. Now the trebuchet is out of ammo. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap it up. That was kind of weird. Um... Because I didn't change anything out here. And I didn't change, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because I put the other traps in the way. Maybe it, that's counting toward that leash. Because now there's, they have to take a certain number of steps. They can't cut corners and things like that. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It, it, I'm going to have to come through here and figure out because all this stuff down here, we know works just fine. Okay, they they never had a problem with any of this pathing in here. But then I added these compressors. I added all this over here. None of this should be a problem, except when I come over here. No, because that's still on the floor. So that shouldn't matter either. Because you can... You, as the player, can walk through this wood section, which is why it... See, now I can't walk through here because the wood is actually the, where the rail is. So maybe it's that. Maybe it's just this meat grinder here is causing some sort of pathing issue. I don't know. It, it shouldn't be like that. Who knows? Maybe it's this damn spike. <laughs> so uh for wave 15 i will be making some minor tweaks to this but as you guys can see um the slaughterhouse is ready i think it's going to be quite effective i just don't know why they were having pathing issues when normally i stand right at that corner and they don't have any problems so it has to be something new that i added today so we will figure that out here in the next 21 hours or so. And until then, I want to thank you guys. Again, if you're new around here, think about subscribing. Click on the bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. Please leave a like. It lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. It lets YouTube know, hey, this is something worth watching. I appreciate all of it. Thank you very much. If you want to support the channel in a more personal way, there are ways to do that down in the description below. Uh, patreon.com. I've got some great perks and tiers set up in there. I also have a tip jar set up over at uh, streamelements.com. Link for that down in the comments as well. Or you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee. Totally up to you. Uh, any way that you can help is greatly appreciated. Of course, it all goes back into the channel so that I can continue making great content just like this. And if you guys have any kill, let's try that one more time. If you guys have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section as well. Love hearing from you guys. Answer all your questions. And until next time, I want you to take care of yourself. This is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!